Atoll, Lean, Lively Seema, Sudeep Tyadi burst into the Indian domestic scene with a 10-wicket horn on debut and his roaring success was a sign of things to come. As he finished the Ranji season with 41 wickets, the highest by any bowler across the two leagues. Tyagi's progression to the top was meteoric as he was spotted by the Uttar Pradesh captain Mohammad Kaf at the nets and handed an opportunity in the big league after the Seema Shalab Srivastava had drifted into the ICL. He followed his debut heroics with a nine-wicket haul against Andhra and was instrumental in getting UP to the Ranji final. Unfortunately, he suffered a stress fracture to the back and had to withdraw from the IPL after being named in the Chennai Super Kings squad. Having recovered, he made his way into the India side for the home series against Australia A and New Zealand A. He finally made his IPL debut the following season in South Africa and his signature moment was the peach of a delivery which castled Abde Villiers. A lively opening spell in the Challenger Trophy final, which sunk India blue earned him a national call-up for the ODIs against Australia at home in 2009. Sudeep Tyagi debuted in ODI cricket against Sri Lanka at Delhi on 27 December 2009. His last ODI match was against South Africa at Ahmedabad on 27 February 2010. Sudeep Tyagi's only T20 international against Sri Lanka at Mohali on 12 December 2009. Sudeep Tyagi played four ODI matches and took three wickets with a bowling average of 48.00. He also played one T20 international match and failed to take any wickets. Sudeep Tyagi's first class, list A, and T20 records were far better than international statistics. He played 41 first-class matches and took 109 wickets with a good bowling average of 31.99. In List A, he played 23 matches and took 31 wickets with a good bowling average of 31.74. Sudeep Tyagi also played 26 T20 matches and took 16 wickets.